right here. All right, there we go. That's better. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. We'll be getting started on the one minute mark, everybody. So get yourself settled in, and we'll be getting started very soon. Till then, I need to get myself stretched out here. Pop my joints on my fingers here. Wrist. All right. All right. That should be it, though. We're almost there at the one minute mark, and then I'll be getting started. I'll also be doing something special, too. So, it is now the one minute mark in the lapse time. So, hello, Internet, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 Path of Soul Air Warrior of Sunlight. I am your host, Onyx the Game Machine. And today, we're going to be doing what we've been doing for about nine streams now. Nine, can you believe it? Of helping people out as Almighty Knight Solaire right here. And, um, as always, I have my Estus here, my orange monster, and my Estus flask, so cheers to everybody. Oh, man, yeah. And I'm also going to be taste testing something here. Um, well, first I'm going to show off the stats here so people can see how to make your own Night Solaire. So... What I'm going to be testing today is something that I got from my corner store today. And um, it is basically a Hershey's che Cherry Cheesecake um, thing right here. I don't usually do stuff like this. But I felt like doing this one live, so we're going to be doing that live. And if it's good, I will continue eating it during my stream. Um, if it's not, then, oh well. I'll still try and finish it anyways. Alright, let me just try and get this open here. It's always a bitch getting Hershey wrappers off, man. It's just absolutely fucking crazy. All right. We'll be test tasting this in a little bit here. All right, here we go. All right, get up. Get up. Okay. So it's a Hershey's Cherry Cheesecake. This is what it looks like. You know, it's a uh, plain white right there. It's focused real good. It has the cherry stuff on the bottom. It actually smells like cheesecake. All right, so, cheers. Hmm. You can definitely taste that there's a type of cream cheese type taste in there. You can taste the, the cherry. It's like a cherry type of nougat. It's really nice. Um... The aftertaste, you get a lot of the cream cheese. But it's a very sweet type of cream cheese. It's like if you mixed uh, vanilla pudding with a little bit of a little bit of a um, cream cheese. Hello, Mr. Rumble Roses. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick little taste test here of the um, Hershey's Cherry Cheesecake uh, Chocolate Bar. I got it from my corner store today, and I wanted to taste test it alive. I'll try one more. Then I'll be getting started some more. That's what it looks like right there. Looks real pretty. It's got the cherry on the bottom right there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that has a little more of the white chocolate coming out right there. So basically, you can you can see that they're trying to replicate the flavor of the cream cheese um, the cherries and nougat and you can get that white chocolate blast like at the end that's really good I'll probably eat the rest of that during my stream that's really good wash it down with some Estes oh yeah Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically uh, Night Solaire, Warrior of Sunlight's thing. He's now a 227 because I was able to upgrade him once. And I, um, I put up his faith to 45. 
But his attributes are Viger is at 80, Attunement's 33, Endurance is at 40, Vitality is at 14, Strength is at 42, Dexterity is at 42, Intelligence is at 7, Faith is 45, and Luck is 13. And his other loadouts, he has Sunlight Straight Sword plus 5, he has the Refined Claymore plus 10, the Sunlight Shield plus 10, Sunlight Talisman plus 10, Iron Helm, Armor of the Sun, Iron Bracelets, and Iron Leggings. Rings of Choice, Ring of Steel Protection plus 3, he has the Chloranthi plus 3, Havel plus 3, and the Estus Ring because I love that plus 20% added to Estus Recovery. So, and also I had someone else be like, you didn't show off your Estus stuff. So, I have 13 Estus, and I have 2 Ashen Estus. The reason for that, when I go into another person's world, I'll end up having 6 Estus heals and 1 Ashen Estus. Just in case I want to do more magic type damage, magic or miracle. So now that I've done that, actually, let me do the thing I usually do. Bam, there we go. Alright. I usually hide my stats and stuff. I just do it. So we're going to be going to the kiln of the first flame. We're going to go put our sign down. And we're going to help more people. Mm. So how was everybody's day today? Did you have a good day? I um, made a nice dinner today. I made some uh, salmon with a little bit of uh, garlic butter on top. And some herb. Um, and I had some macaroni and cheese. That I mix a little bit of cream cheese with inside. And yeah, macaroni and cheese tastes really good when you put a little bit of cream cheese in there. Like just regular Philadelphia white cream cheese. It's really tasty. I felt like rewarding myself today. Alright, there we go. Now I just wait to be summoned. I'm going to continue eating this chocolate bar because this thing is really, really good. Not too bad. Hmm. Not bad. Last one. I washed that down with some more Estes, why not? Mm. I gotta save the rest of it for later. Eating chocolate for some reason gets me a little thirsty. I'm not sure why. But, uh, yeah, Rumble, what did you do today, man? Did you eat anything nice today, Rumble Roses? Okay, no password. I do want to see my messages, though. Mm. So, three good, four good, two good, and one good. Oh, they all got at least one appraisal. Very nice. Very nice. I guess slept. Did you at least eat anything today, Mr. Rumble Roses? Being summoned to another world as Night Soul Air. Mm. Let's do this shit. Let's help some people beat the game. So I just fish me a couple corn dogs. Hey, corn dogs are amazing, man. I like the honey battered ones. Hello, Philippe. 
Welcome. How are you? Here, have a buff. It's on the house. Let's do it. Stream. Oh god! Oh, that hit me. That hit me real good. That's oh, all right. I'm good though. I'm good. Yeah, like that's gonna do any good on me. You better come through there and get me. Come on, boy. Oh, you're going for him now. Come on, boy. Oh. No. You're gonna have to do better than that. Might try and pull a heal. We need to get rid of him. That's gonna hurt. Get him in that phase too. There we go. Time to have some fun. Combo. Let's go, boy. Oh. No. Try it again. You gotta try harder than that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Hit me! Burger. Are you gonna do that now? Come on. No. You're way off there, homie. Nope. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I'll dance with you. Oh, really? Really? Hey, Blood Eagle, how's it going? Yeah. I ah, know. I'll tell you in just a minute how things are going. You finished yet? Get in there, Philippe. Get in there. Back it off. Got him. I love this fight too, man. Anytime, Philippe. Have a nice day. Now I go back to save more people. Hey, Onyx, how's things? Last few streams sh I showed up to, I couldn't talk in the chat. Glad that's fixed. Yeah, Twitch has its moments when it can be an asshole. But uh, I am doing very well. Um, I have not finished Dark Souls Remastered yet. I have one stream left to do of that, but I have to prepare a few things before I do that. Because, as people know, I, it goes straight into New Game Plus when I do that. And, um, yeah. I'm going to try and make that a really long stream if I can. If it's not a long stream, it's fine. 
Uh, but, uh, yeah, basically, I'm going to be doing that in a couple weeks. Um, like I said, I just got to prepare myself for it and stuff, level myself up and things, you know. I'm going to be I'm going to be attempting to platinum Dark Souls remastered and stuff. Um it's going to be a bit hard, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it if I just put my mind to it. Cuz I was able to platinum Bloodborne, I platinum Dark Souls 3. So, platinuming Dark Souls 1, it's it's going to have to happen. And I'm still not going to platinum Dark Souls 2 cuz that that game's trash. Um But how are you, Blood Eagle? How are you doing, sir? How are you doing today? And also to people lurking in the chat, don't forget to share around the live stream. You know, on Twitter or whatever, so we can get more people in. Let's try and make this a real lively party. Oh, you clipped something. What'd you clip, Mr. Rumble Roses? What'd you clip? Actually, how many sunlight medals do I have? 25. Well, damn. Ain't that some funny shit. <laughs> you made a giant dad. Oh, my God. I bet it's awesome. I bet it's fucking awesome. The conclusion of the fight, gotcha. Awesome, boy, oh, awesome. But yeah, we can talk um, after stream about uh, Dark Souls Remastered, um, Blood Eagle. Maybe you can help me out with a few things. It's not really anything in terms of uh, story base that I might need some help with, but uh, just some other things. I might be able to help you out with a few things as well in return. If you play it on a uh, PlayStation 4, of course, because I'm playing on my PlayStation 4. Maybe you can add me on a uh, PlayStation Network then. We can probably talk after my stream. You are being summoned to another world. Might not do a whole lot of clips for this unless you say, unless you find something funny. I got you. I got you, Rumble. Uh, Seath is the last one to go. Whew. Nice. Dominic. Hello, Dominic. How are you, sir? Here, have a buff. There you go. Let's go. Ready to boogie. Getting greedy. I did that for a reason, though. I'd gotten that last hit.
Watch out, Dominic. Get out of there. He's about to do his fight. He's about to do his phase two. Move. Combo. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, he's good. Get the aggro off. I took that so I could get the aggro off. Oh shit, that ain't gonna be good. No. No. Get out of there. Ooh, he finally hit me with it. Good job, boy. -o. Good job, boy. -o. I reckon. <laughs> I, I dropped some uh, embers. He saw what I dropped, but then he just was looking back at me as I was r running away. I'm I'm like the Batman. I'm like the Batman, Rumble. Where's Dan <laughs> But uh Yeah, if you're stared if you're still there, Blood Eagle, um my PSN name is um Onyx Game Machine. Cause I couldn't put the whole damn Onyx the Game Machine thing in there. So I had to do Onyx Game Machine. So if you want to add me there, man, we'll we'll talk and stuff after stream if you're still awake. That, and you could probably message me anytime, and, you know, I'll reply whenever. I'll reply whenever I'm awake. Because <sighs> I've been streaming every day now since, I think, what, the 17th of last week? I mean, 17th of last month. So this has been taking a lot out of me. And the same as my Twitch name. Got gotcha. you. I understand. But I'm trying to think how many days that's been because um, I've been streaming every day since the 17th of last month. How many days would that be, Rumble? From the 17th of last month to today has been how long I've been streaming every day. At least I think it was the 17th. Yeah, I think it was the 17th. wait on this though. Hmm. I guess Rumble's probably having some issues with Twitch or something.
18 days. Wow. Okay. Being summoned to another world as Night Solaire. Let's do this shit. Let's do it. Okay, you were counting. Okay, got you. Oh, hello, May. Hello. Here, have a buff. <laughs> Yuri Orlando. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Haha, <laughs> got a hit on you that time. Come on, boy. That opening. Yeah, I got one hit. Okay, so that's a uh, regular game. Got you. Watch yourself. Watch there. Move. That is going to be coming for you, boy. Oh, let's do claymore. My first heal of the battle. It's usually the time when he tries to heal. He's trying to poison me. Well, there we go. Move. To the lag, boy. -o. Come on, boy. -o. Second phase, let's move. Oh, he's coming in. He's going for Yuri right now. Oh no, she died. God damn it. That was a combination of her not getting away in time and I took a little too long with that one aggro take. It's okay. Things happen. She almost had it. Put the sign down. Let's do it again. We shall do this again. We shall do this again, my friends. We shall do this again. Yes. Oof. Not sure how many of your viewers Onyx have Steam, but I'm doing a little giveaway thing. Oh, really? You're doing a giveaway. Nice. You can promote it if you want to. Mr. Rumble Rose is in the chat. Go right on ahead. I will allow that. Basically say what uh, games you'll be doing in the giveaway and, uh, and how to win and stuff like that.
Ah, see, you got Blood Eagle's attention right now. He's like a bald eagle. Squaw! It's called a game called Crush. Hmm. Tell me about this game. Well, tell everybody about the game. Lull. Why do you say lull? Oh, bald eagle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, my eyes. Mm. Yeah, we'll stay here until the 40-minute uh, mark, and then we will go to the Demon Ruins, where we'll have to fight the old Demon King. Yeah, what is it like, Rumble? Tell us about Crush. Well, I'm not good with description, but it's like an arena wave survival thing. Hmm. Alright, and for this giveaway, uh, what would people have to do? Ah, yeah, there's your Twitter right there. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like it to me. Sounds kind of fun. Hold on, my eye is bothering me right now. Give me a minute. They would, they would need a Steam account, and they need to enter the site I posted on my Twitter. Okay. All right. By the way, I need to blue screen everybody real quick. I need to do something real fast. Just give me a few minutes. Alright, there we go. I am back. Hello, sir. There you go. Here's a buff for you. Right when I came in, I was getting summoned. Oh, he's trying to get a uh, third person in. Alright. You ever heard of or at least played a game called Smash TV? Yes, I have. It's a real fun game, actually. Very, very fun game. Does this name eat shit, bro? That's, that's freaking hilarious. Hello, sir. Good to see you. 
Here, maybe I can... No, no, you're going to go right on in, aren't you? Yep, you're going to go right on in. Alright, let's do it. a little bit more in this one. I think this is new game plus three, so he's going to be a little bit more durable. And he'll hit a twice as hard. So I gotta watch myself here. Nice. This is going to be a bit of a tough one. No. Come on, dude. Get him off me. And I'll be able to get more damage on him. Oh, shit. I need to move. He needs to come be coming on to me. Okay. Okay. Shot of force right there. Come on, heal. Why is he going for him? You need to be coming for me. There you go. Heal, dude. You need to heal. Why is he not using S's? Why the fuck do people not like to use S's in this game? Oh, I saw that coming from a mile away. Come on, dude. You need to go you need to do something. Yeah, this is a new game plus two, that's why I gotta watch myself. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Let's move, 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 move. See, Solaire may be a new game, a regular game, but I have so much um, experience with the Soul Ascender. This isn't a lot to me. So, like I said in my last stream. It's not about how strong your character is or how strong your sword is. It's about the person that uses the sword that prevails. Write that down. Oh shit, that's gonna hurt. He should go for me. No, get out of there, dude! Get out of there! Heal! He's still using healing spells. He needs to use his Estus. Do you even have Estus, bro? Come 
he keeps getting grabbed. I need to move. Move! I can't heal right now. Not until he gets the aggro off me. Okay, I could probably get one off right here. Okay. That was a quickie. That was a quickie. Get it off and run. Yeah, he's coming for me now. See, bloody you, you gotta admit. For Solaire being in a new game plus, um, no, regular game, and I'm fighting new game plus three Soul of Cinder, I'm not doing half bad. I need to get that off him. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Hit me. Hit me. There you go. Come on. Now he's using this fucking Estus. All right. I got the moves like Jagger. Got the moves like Jagger. Get in there, buddy. Get in there. Did he even hit him? He's almost got him. He's almost got him. <laughs> He'll pick them up when I leave. I know he'll pick them up. I like to leave people little presents now. Alright, so now... We need to get ourselves to the old demon ruins. And do our thing there. But yeah, the giveaway is going on for about a week. June 11th should be the deadline. Alright. Well, I hope somebody wins. I actually forgot my Steam password, so... Yeah, plus it wouldn't be fair if I uh, entered anyways, because I don't really play many Steam games due to my computer being really bad. Um, so yeah, <laughs> no offense. Yeah, Blood Eagle, how was your day today, man? What did you do today? Well, yeah, I know. It's just, like I said, for one, I forgot my Steam password. And two, even having Steam, I it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to play it good anyways because my computer's trash. I need a new computer. So hopefully one day I'll get a new computer. Probably if I get affiliate, any um, any money I get from subscribers that subscribe to the channel will go toward me trying to get myself a new computer. Because I want to be able to like uh, stream on OBS and stuff. And um, play some of the games I grew up playing. Like I especially want to do an old school Pokemon run. Like I most definitely want to do an old school Pokemon run. That's... That's one of my number one things I want to do whenever I get a new computer and I'm able to stream on it. Uh, my day was pretty good. I mostly sat around and played. 
I'm kind of that was kind of like my day today, um, except I slept most of the day because um, streaming for now technically 18 days straight from the math of Mr. Rumble Roses that can take a lot out of you. So I slept for most of the day. Um, I don't even remember what time I woke up this morning, if it was even the morning time. Um, but, uh, I did whatever I could. Yeah, it's easier said than done, yeah. Like, my best bet is, like, a new computer to me would be, like, trying to get one from a pawn shop in my face. I'd, I'd, I'd take any kind of computer that would be better than what I have. Because my computer's fucking trash. It doesn't matter how many system restores or factory resets I do. It still runs terribly, and I hate that. Oh, the power went out. Damn, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. I hate when that happens to me, too. It was storming today. Um, I think I did a Twitter post about it. That um, I was going to leave people in the loop. Um, if I wasn't going to be able to um, stream. But, of course, I said that in 10 minutes I was going to be doing uh, Dark Souls 3, Path of Solaire. So, yeah. Oh, really? What was your first one? And uh, what was the one? And what's the one that you have now as well? Yeah, I did. I was like half asleep when I did that Twitter post too. I was like, I was just half asleep, man. I was like, I it's it's really thundering and lightning outside. I need to do a post on Twitter just in case something happens. So that's what I so that's what I did. Because right after that Twitter post, I went right back to sleep. I went right back to sleep, man. But yeah, we'll probably stay here until the one hour mark, and then we'll go to En Orlando. Or as Mr. Rumble Roses likes me to call it, En Orlando! <laughs> I don't remember, but I play some games on this one versus my old one. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And Orlando. Hey, that was still a great clip, though. I liked it, yeah. I liked it. It was pretty damn nice. You've been getting better at your clips, though. I will say that. Another funny moment was uh, when I when I was fighting Nito. And when he died, I'm like, Shit, my dick, Nito! <laughs> uh, some of the shit that I say, I'm telling you. When I look back at it and stuff, and I'm and I see what I say... I'm like, what the fuck was wrong with me when I was going through that phase? Like, I don't even fucking know. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Mm. Also, I do want to bring something up to um, um, the people watching. Um, would you like it? Um, the group that we're in when we uh, do... Um, when you follow and stuff, would you like that to still be called the uh, Spadian family? Or would you rather it be called like the Spadian club? Or do you have any recommendations um, you want to give? 
because I want to do one for um, when you follow, and I want to do one for if you subscribe to the to the channel. Because um, I really, I'm really trying to shoot for the affiliate status. So I'm asking the people watching right now. You know, like, what do you want to be called when you join as a follower? And what do you want to be called when you join as a subscriber? I mean, you can brainstorm about it. You don't have to answer right away, of course. But uh, brainstorm about it. Because I'm asking the people what they want. Okay, man. It was great having you. I hope to see you later, Blood Eagle. You have yourself a blessed night. Well, don't forget to check your PlayStation 4 later uh, when you get a chance. Family can be those who follow. Club can be those who subscribe. That's a good idea. The Spadian. Uh, do you want to be Spadian Club, or do you have another idea for that? Because, you know, the Spadian family is when you follow. But what should they be called if they uh, subscribe? Should it be Spadian Club, or, you know, like, Gaming Machine something, or Onyx something? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking people. Dude, I got drunk as a motherfucker about five hours ago. Well, welcome, Green Orb Wizard, to the stream. What were you drinking? I'm cooking ramen now to calm down before I sleep. Well, don't forget to have a nice bucket in case you um, got to let out some bad spirits. You know what I'm saying? One rule I always go by, which I, it never happened to me. But one rule to go by when you're drunk is always have a nice bucket right beside you in case you got to release them bad spirits, you know. I won't need a bucket, though. All right, good, good. Hopefully you won't have to feed your toilet either. Onyx Club, maybe? Hmm, maybe. Or the OTGM Club, maybe. That could be a good one. I was think I was drinking coconut water and vodka mixed with mellow. Oh god, that's going to mess with you later. Dude. Does sound good, but that's going to mess with your bowels later, man. God damn, I'm going to feel bad for your toilet when that happens. Ooh, shit, man. Literally. <laughs> It's going to be like Mount St. Helen in your bathroom later, man. Man, at least coconut water did that to me. Coconut water in my stomach do not mix very well. It, it No, it just does not go well. It doesn't affect my bowels as far as I know. Well, that's good. That's good. At least you won't have Mount St. Helen uh, blasting out of your asshole. You know, that would be pretty fucking bad. Coconut water is just a hydrator. Well, yeah, I know it's just a hydrator. But if your stomach doesn't like it, that thing could be like a... It could also act like an ipecac or a... Um, or like a type of colon cleanser. And that way, you'll either have Mount St. Helen coming out of your mouth. Or you'll have Mount St. Helen coming out of your asshole. Um, I should know because I... Um, I'm not going to say that it's, I've had the whole uh, bowels and mouth thing, but my stomach does not like coconut water, and that's almost happened to me, but I'm not going to disclose which one. <laughs> but it's very, very embarrassing. Especially when you mix coconut water with stuff, because you're, uh, even though coconut water is a hydrator, as you say, Mixing it with other things makes it a little bit more different, though. Law, you'll shoot off like a rocket from your ass. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Get that Mount St. Helen geyser busting out your asshole. I'll tell you what. That's absolutely fucking terrible. Man, though, 
that happened to a friend of mine. He um he tried to do he he was so fucking stupid. He was um he was doing this thing where he was mixing different drinks together to see what would happen. And he um he decided and this is really really stupid. This motherfucker decided to make a um a thing with Guinness. I think it was called uh Oh, God, what was it called? Um, it has, like, a really interesting name. Uh, I keep thinking Car Crash, but I, I know I'm wrong. But he made one of those, and he combined it with Ipecac. Yeah, Irish Car Bomb. There you go. Irish Car Bomb. He made an Irish Car Bomb with some Guinness. And um, somebody dared him 20 bucks to put some Ipecac in there and try and not to vomit. If he vomited, he would lose the $20. And he almost made it, but the Epicock won, and he vomited, like, all over the damn floor. Because, um, in case people don't know, Epicock is a type of liquid that um, induces vomiting. It helps out when, like, um, you got something, like, stuck in your esophagus, or you're having an issue with your stomach, and you got to get it out of there. You know, yeah. That, that's basically what Epicock's used for. And, um... Yeah. It's pretty fucking bad. I have always wondered what would happen if you combined Ipecac with mineral water. Uh, not mineral water, uh, mineral oil. Because uh, mineral oil... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It was pretty bad. Um, because mineral oil is like a colon cleanser. And um, Ipecac is basically a body cleanser that induces vomiting. But Epicoc and mineral oil are polar opposites of each other. Because, like I said, Epicoc um, induces vomiting, and uh, mineral oil is a colon cleanser. So it kinda, you kind of wonder, like, how that would go if something like that happened. Um, I'm going to leave my sign there. Um, but I'm going to stay at the bonfire. If I don't get summoned by the one-hour mark, I will be going to En Orlando. But, uh, I got a lot of interesting stories of me hanging out with old friends. Keep in mind, old friends. I'm not friends with a lot of the same people anymore. But, um, uh, I've had a lot of interesting experiences. See, me, I'm not a smoker. I'm not even a heavy drinker like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is one hell of a fucking mess. Um, but I'd say, you know... Some of the most interesting situations I've seen of, like, challenges on YouTube has been with, like, Epicock and, you know, Sriracha with, um, lemon juice, cinnamon, just all these different challenges. There's even, like, a, a, um, what is it, uh, there's drinking challenges and stuff. There's just so many damn challenges on YouTube. Like, even the meme one of the Tide Pod challenge. Like, really, man? Vomit Remnants is a Japanese extreme grindcore band. They were around, like, 12 years ago. Don't know if they ever still working together to relate. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Vomit Remnants is a band name? Wow. Wow, dude. That's crazy. Drink some more of my stuff here. That's it for my Estes. Mm. But aside from uh, getting drunk and stuff, Green Orb Wizard, how's your day been, though, man? Have you had a good day today? Did you have yourself a nice, positive day? No negativity. There we go. All right, it is now the one hour mark. Let's go ahead and go to En Orlando. Okay. 
Hello, Juan Lewis 310. Welcome to the stream. Do you mind if I drop you a batch of embers for being a part of a sun covenant? Of course you can. Of course you can. If you can meet me at Anne Orlando, I can uh I can bring you in. Question is though, um what kind of sign are we talking about here? But I'll go ahead and make a password, though. I don't mind helping out. Even if it's a trick or if it's actually the truth. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, the password will be sun. And I will put a sign down. I'll be at An Orlando. Because that's one of the places of uh, Solera Vistora. Uh, you, if you if you've not fought um, Aldrich, you could come as a white sign if you like. Well, you can just summon me into your word or whatever. If you uh, if you haven't beaten Aldrich, but yeah, Juan Lewis though, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the channel. My name is Onyx the Game Machine. If you're into uh, Souls type of uh, you know, content and unique content in particular. You know, you can give the channel a follow. You know, no pressure or anything. But, um... Yeah. Not much of a trick since I'm a 1-8. Uh, Sun. S-U-N. Uh, all lowercase. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you can drop whatever you like, man. You know, drop embers, drop souls, drop whatever you want. I'm open for anything, homie. But yeah, if you're into souls content, you know, give the channel a follow. Become part of the Spadian family. I'm trying to reach that affiliate status so I can uh, give the people what they want. They want me to be affiliate. You know, they want me to be able to get subscribers and get bits and stuff. You know. Put the red sign down. Oh wow, you're you're making me break my own habit, eh? Hmm. Okay, how about this? You put the red sign down. As Solaire, I don't like putting a red sign down. But if you put one down, I'll bring you in. I'll bring you in. Alright. Maybe I just have to step away and then it'll appear. Oh, there it is. Alright. Greaser. Alright. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Don't mind the character outfit. I just wear it to mess around. Oh, I don't judge people, man. I don't judge people. Praise the sun. Alright, so you are somewhere. You've been summoned. So no one thinks you're probably inside there. Yep, there he is. Praise the sun. How are you, sir? Good to see you. But yeah, like I said, man, you know, drop embers if you like, souls, whatever you want to drop. I'll take anything you like. Anything whatsoever. 
It's always good to see nice people in the game, you know. It's all good. Oh. Uh, okay. Well. All right. Well. All right. I understand. Oh. Crystal dagger. Oh. Well, thank you very much. Well. Yeah, I know, right? Morian Blade. Wow, oh, you have a lot of stuff, my friend. You must be a vivid collector like I am. Wow. Jesus, you have a lot of stuff, man. Okay. Okay. I got you. Wow. Jesus. You must have been through a lot of new game pluses if you've gotten all of this. That's absolutely crazy. I could probably use some of this with my other characters, maybe. Most definitely with Venandi, because I'd like to get Venandi up some levels. That would actually be pretty nice. I mean, I'm the type of guy where I'm not greedy or anything. If somebody wants to drop me stuff, I will happily accept it. You know, I'm not the type of person that asks for things, you know. I'm not a beggar or anything like that. If someone wants to drop me stuff, I'll happily, I'll happily accept it. I have accepted gifts before. But I'm glad for the gifts that you're giving to Knight Solaire, Warrior of Sunlight. I really appreciate this. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay. Most great hammer. Morn's hammer. Hmm. I see a lot of experiments too. You've been experimenting with different things. It's a walking store on legs. Yeah, pretty much. See, my character Vanandi of Kuar, he has a lot of stuff too. He's more of like my Bloodborne type character, which I'm going to be working on him a little bit more actually. But we're, I'm going to be working on him a little bit more. He's dropping a lot of stuff, though. Nice. He's fixing the Mad King. Gunders Halliburton. Nice. I'm gonna have to ask though, Lewis, like, what new game plus uh have you are you on? 
Because some of this... You've got to have been at least close to New Game Plus 10. Maybe New Game Plus 5. Maybe somewhere in the middle. Ah, Follower's Torch. Nice. I forgot that they dropped the torch. Oh, Atavis. Okay, repeating crossbow. Evelyn. Court sorcerer staff. Which tree branch sorcerer staff? Murky. And staff nine. Okay. Nice. Wow. Yeah, you've had to have been through quite a bit, my friend. You've had to have been through quite a bit in this game. Because I'm I'm looking at some of these items, and uh, you have to have been through a lot of shit. Then again, I have been as well. Hello, Toki Man. Welcome to the stream, also known as Mr. Van Helsing. It's been a while. I'm glad you're here. I um, have a person that's a uh, a fan of the uh, Warriors of Sunlight. And he's just dropping me some stuff that he wanted to know if I wanted. And I was like, sure, I do not mind. Not at all. But welcome, 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 Van Helsey. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you, sir. Hope all is well with you. Still a lot of stuff though. He's he's had to have been through a lot of the game. Stone Gray Shield, okay. Alright. You got your ramen? Awesome. What kind of ramen did you make, by the way, Green Orb Wizard? Oh, you're dropping all these rings. Okay. Now he's dropping rings. Okay. Glorianthi. Wow, yeah, he's been through this game a lot. Roasted chicken. Not bad. I like roasted chicken. Roasted chicken is real yummy. Oh, man, excuse me. Wow. He has got the this has got to be the biggest fan ever or something. What, biggest fan of mine or biggest fan of Dark Souls? Might as well be your birthday. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, though, is with Venandi, he has all the rings and stuff. It's just the only thing that Venandi needs is uh, just to go up some more levels. But uh, for Solaire, I might put Solaire up some more levels. I might do that. Work on his faith build. That's one thing I need to do. I need to work on his faith. But, uh... Yeah, this is a lot of stuff, though. And I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to jinx it. But I kind of got a feeling he's going to drop... He's going to drop armor, too. I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but usually somebody that drops items and all that, yeah. All right. Is that everything, sir? Is that everything?
Put on silver plus three. I think I actually have a so um. Wait, a silver plus three. What do you mean silver plus three? Equip shield of want in each hand. Why is that? I mean, Solaire doesn't um, do stuff like that. This is a Solaire build, though. But, uh... Why equip a shield of want to increase souls? Oh! Um, okay. Sure. I'll do it just this one time. I'll do it just this one time. Let me go into the shield section here. That's a lot of stuff, though. Okay, let's see. Shield of Want. I gotta find it first. There we go. Shield of Want plus four. And then... Come on. Where is the... Okay, it's down here somewhere. Give me a minute. I'll find it. Just give me a minute. Okay, there it is. Okay. I have both shields in my hand. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, Lucitil Mask. Yeah, okay. I am a fan of the, the storyline of Lucitil from Dark Souls 2. Okay. What would you like me to do now? And I'm not sure if you followed the channel yet. Um, don't forget the ring to increase souls as well as the plus three version. Okay, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll I'll do that. Why not? Why not? I don't mind doing it. Also, Lewis, don't forget to follow the channel, man. I don't know if you haven't yet. I don't know if you have yet or not, but uh, you know, give the channel a follow, of course. All right, got the ring up to yield more souls. Okay, but uh, did what you wanted there. What would you like me to do now? As Solaire, I do what people tell me to do. Plus, I think it's rather funny that I have two shields in my hands right here. It's kind of funny. Oh, you're gonna jump off. Goodbye, my friend. Godspeed to you. Wow. Well, fuck. Um, okay. That was interesting. I'm not complaining, but that was pretty interesting, actually, to say the least. Okay. Rumble, that has got to be one of the most interesting experiences I have ever had on Dark Souls. It's It's got to be one of the most interesting experiences. Because I've had stuff given to me before, but in this particular situation, that has got to be very, very random. Okay, so now I need to find my sword. I appreciate it, Juan. I hope you follow the channel, and I hope I see you again in other streams, my friend. Praise the sun to you. I will enjoy the gifts. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you, thank you. I hope I see you again sometime. And uh, we can chat during the stream if you have to go. I don't know if you have to go or not, but, you know. It's always good to have somebody in. What the fuck is my sword? Hold on. I appreciate it. Thank you. You can stay as long as you want, of course. You can watch me do more stuff. Where the fuck is my sword? 
I'll find it. I'll find it. Okay, here we go. Sunlight straight sword. Yeah, hold on. Uh, same thing. Okay. Sunlight straight sword plus five. There we go. And I need my sunlight shield. Sunlight shield, you're the one. Sunlight shield, have some fun. Huh? Simple sunlight. This is interesting. So that has attack for. F oh. Okay. Cool. I'll look into that later. All right. Now, let's get back to what we were doing before, everybody. I don't have to go. It's night, and it's rare to find many people to give these items to, as usual. It's what I do normally now on Dark Souls. I do it sometimes as well. I do it sometimes as well. I like to be able to help out people. Plus, that's why I have my Solaire. Uh, my highest amount of viewers ever was 10. I just hit 10. That was awesome. I'm at 9 right now, but that's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hope you all enjoy. To the people that are lurking, my name is Onyx the Game Machine. I play different plethoras of games. I play Dark Souls stuff. I play Bloodborne. I play different types of stuff. You know, it depends on what you're into. Maybe there's something there you may like. And I'm being summoned to another world. Yes. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. This was an interesting stream. Ugh. All right. Let's see what we got here. Do 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 do. Oh, my back. Hello, slime. Hello, sir. How are you today? Are you doing well, sir? Here you go. Have a free buff on the house. You are now a buff pro. All right. Are we ready to attack people? Because I'm ready. Ah. You're using a dried finger. Okay. Summoning another phantom. Alright. Just need to double check my stat. No, not that. Check my stats. Something straight. Something like that. Okay. Just double checking a few things. Okay. Alright. Oh, no. We got a mad dark spirit now. Where is he at? You could use a simple infused sun shield to regen the blue bar. Really? It regens? Okay. I might do that. You're talking about the supple sunlight shield. Okay. Oh, I see what you're talking about there. Okay. I'll do it. All right. Not too shabby. Thank you for the tip. I will use that. Nice. Good backstab. And the one next to it with the yellow regen's health. Oh, wow, really? Hmm. Really? If that's the case, I might do that one then. So the blessed one recovers my health. Wow. 
All right. I'm, I learned something new today. That's good to know. What are we doing over here? Okay. Plus, health regen is really nice for me. I like having health regen. As being a veteran of Dark Souls, I like it when I learn something new. It still kind of makes me sad how uh, how much Anne Orlando now looks terrible now. It's just terrible, man. Wait, he's over there. No, no, no. He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. Don't do it. I told you he's right over there. Where did he go? Where did he go? I know y'all I know y'all saw it. I saw that purple sword. We got a mad spirit here. I like using the Sanctus Shield for Dark Souls 1 for health regen. Um Hmm. Are you playing uh the Dark Souls Remastered right now? I'm very curious if you are or not. Where is the where's the mad one? I wonder. Is he at the boss door? No, he's not. Welcome, TNT Boom. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think this is regular game. That's a big spooter. I don't fuck with the spooters. I don't fuck with that spooter. I hate the I hate spiders. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! Get off of me! Yeah. Okay. But yeah, welcome to the channel. Oh god. Why'd you have to bring the fucker over here for? Can we like, you know, fight the boss, homie? I really don't want to fuck with this spider. I'm not saying I don't want to. I came here to help fight a boss. Not get cursed. But I'll I'll give it a shot though. There. There. Now can we go? Can we go now? Can we go now? I'd like it if we could. I'll do a thing right here. There we go. Let's do it. It's the giant shrimp, bitch. What's she gonna do, though? I do wonder, though, if Aldrich could be, like... Could be Gwen. I've wondered that, though. Because the powers that Aldrich has and what Aldrich is wearing on its head. I wonder if Aldrich could be Gwen. I mean, not Gwen, uh, Gwendolyn. Like, has anybody ever thought about that, though? Ow! This is gonna hurt. Heal, 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 heal. Yeah, that's why I was thinking too, um, Crazy Liz. Welcome to the stream, homie. Good to see you. Welcome up. Dead. You're dead. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Jolly old cooperation. Have a nice day. <laughs> it's good to be back. You're always welcome here, man. 
Everybody that's nice on the, and the channel is always welcome back. Oh, yeah. Why do you think it's Devour of Gods? She consumed her. That could be. That could be. I mean, sometimes I usually thought, like, maybe when you killed Gwendolyn, maybe there was, like, a piece of Gwendolyn that was left that just evolved into Aldrich. But, you know, you never know. The back end of her is the corpse. That's bad. That's Gwendolyn's corpse? I did not know that. Wow. But it is the 1 hour 30 mark, so it is time for us to go back to the Kiln of the First Flame, my favorite place to fight. I like fighting me some, uh, some Soul of Cinder. Just ask Mr. Rumble Roses. What's the floor behind the swampy stuff on the floor? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, you could say that it's just like a lot of like wear and tear. And like leaks or whatever because no one kept N. Orlando clean and shit, you know. Because ever since Dark Souls 1, you know, everyone literally just fucking died. So you never know. You never truly know. I need to check a few things, though. I need to check a few things. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Okay, just checking. Alright. But, uh... I don't know. It could just be because, you know, it just had so much wear and tear over the years. That could be the situation. Because also at the same time, I do still wish that Anne Orlando was as beautiful as it was as in uh, Dark Souls uh, 1. What playthrough am I on? Uh, well, when it comes to Solaire, he's a regular playthrough. Uh, because he's just, he's just Knight Solaire. I wanted him to be on just one playthrough because all he does is he helps people out. That's what Knight Solaire is. That's who he is. He helps people out. So why go through the rest of the game if that's all I'm going to intend to use him for? But my main character, Venandi of Kruar, he is on New Game Plus 7. He is my highest in terms of New Game Plus. Um, I just need to find a way to grind more levels so I can get him up higher. Um... He is also a warrior of sunlight, but Venandi is like my Bloodborne character. And I'm still kind of in construction with how I want to do more of his build. But, uh, yeah, there, because my highest leveled ones is Ira, which was my first character I ever made. Venandi of Kruar, which is my main, which is my new main. And he's highest in terms of, uh, new game plus. And then there's Knight Solaire. Which is a 227. Venandi is a 296. And I believe Ira is a 280 something. I don't remember. Um, uh, hold on. Plus, I always found it funny how Anna Orlando was much bigger in our, to our characters in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, I always wondered that too. Dang, my main jump. My name. My main Jumanji. Hold on. Is, is that Jumanji? You named him Jumanji? That's fucking epic, dude. I like that. Is on his third stuck at Gale and Madeir. Ooh. Yeah, I know you spelled Madeir wrong. It's okay. It's all right. I know what you're talking about. But, uh, yeah, third, uh, third playthrough. Yeah, Gale gains a little bit more speed and a little bit more, uh, defense in his case. Madeir... The scaling goes up a little higher if you bring in co-op. But I've learned that if it's you and one other person, the scaling doesn't actually fully matter with Madeir. It's something I've learned in terms of, like, experimenting. But if, you have, but if it's you and two others, uh, Madeir will scale out of crazy, literally. So if you're going to have help with Madeir, I would suggest having a second person. Just, just a second person. So that way the scaling's not that bad. Uh, for Gale, it really depends on your build, but usually having a second person or a third can help. I suggest getting a third person in if uh, if you're more of a magic build. 
if you're do if you do more of long range magic, I would recommend bringing in a second person that could possibly do a lot of close range melee, and um, have the third person be either another person of melee or somebody with miracle, with like different miracles. That's how I would deal with Gale. Um, me wise, I do different types of builds, but but they're not builds in terms of um, making characters per se. The only build I have that's more of a character is Knight Solaire, and um, yeah, but um, I don't make I don't make characters. I make legends, okay. And Venandi is one of my best because. He has got to be one of the best spears of uh, the church I have ever made. And he still has his streak right now. Um, he actually, well, technically he broke his streak recently, but it was due to a hacker on PlayStation 4. So in a way, I do kind of count that as the streak ending, but I also count it as continuing because I don't consider hacks as losses for my character. But he has won 24 battles in... Um, Spear of the Church, and he lost one to um, a gank team of three hackers. And how did I know they were hackers? They were flying around the room like Superman. They were flying around the room like Superman, spamming um, the lava pyromancer on me, and I died in less than five seconds. Yep. That's how it happened. And it was bullshit that I didn't get it recorded. I would have recorded that shit. Hell, I would have reported that shit. That was some bull. But, uh... Yay! Being summoned to another world as Night Solaire. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Never, 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 never. But, uh... I do have a lot of knowledge in Dark Souls. I don't... I will admit that I don't know everything. But I know enough to where I understand what's going on. Oh. <laughs> Bloodborne. Hey, boy. -o. Here you go. Have a buff on the house. You are now a buff pro. Devourer. Very nice. I'll give them a buff as well. There you go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go murder. For the sun! For the sun. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Let's go. Let's do it to it, boyos. Let's do it to it. Oh, yeah. Because I'll also tell you, you know, is that hackers aren't just on PC. Hackers are on PlayStation 4. Alright? And I've seen a lot of crazy shit ever since I got my PlayStation 4. I've seen some crazy shit. Now let's switch to the same War. Oh yeah, I knew what you meant about the infinite health. I've, 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 dealt, I've dealt with that before as well. Get in there, guys. I gotta get some distance. What's he gonna do? Go in. He's going to do another magic weapon in a bit, I think. Side so watch yourself. Alright. Yep, I knew it. I called that. I called that. Uh, Soul Stream. I gotta get out of there. Gotta get out of there. I got it, move! Oh my god. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Sorry. Right. I need to quit being reckless in this. Oh, he's got some lag. That's how I'm taking a lot of this damage. The guy's got lag on his end. Okay. Move! Alright. We got this. We got this. Get the aggro off of him. Ah, 
<laughs> Get in there. Come on. Get him to phase two. Get him to phase two. Uh, yes, Soul Stream is a sorcery, yes. Phase two, Gwen. Let's get some aggro off these guys. Bah! He might come for me now. Okay, he's doing his combo. Probably after the combo, he might come after me. Hit him again, just in case. I need to get the aggro off him. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Nope. He didn't like that. Let's roll. Let's roll. Why don't you attack me? Oh, you're doing your combo. That's why you weren't doing anything. Sweet, I have an idea for a new build. Awesome. I'm glad I'm able to help people out with their builds. Nope, you missed that way off me. You were way off that shit. Come on, boy, oh, come on. I mock you. I mock you. You're not doing so good, are you? Take chill pill. You gonna make an Iron Man build? But don't forget Iron Flesh. You're gonna need that shit. I think Iron. I think Iron Flesh is in uh in Dark Souls 2. Iron Dark Souls 3. Yeah, it is. It is. So that'll get. I think Iron Flesh will give you more uh, defense. No. 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 I think y'all can tell I've fought him many times. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. No, no. You're not going to do that shit. No. Nope. Look at this motherfucker trying to grab me, Rubble. No, that's so funny. Oh my god. I think I pissed off the Soul Ascender. That's that's actually what I'm trying to do. Hold on. All right. Yeah. Oh, Rubble, did you see that dodge, though? Did you see that dodge, man? That's a new one for me. Not only did I dodge an aerial electrical attack, I also dodged um, a fucking, oh my god. When you help people beat bosses in Dark Souls, it's because it's be it becomes muscle memory when dodging moves. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on. I'm mocking the soul of Cinder right now. This is so fucking funny. No! Nice try. I'm having fun with this battle. I pissed off the soul of Cinder. Gar! 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 Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh man, hold on. I want, I want to drop some embers here. I want to drop some embers. There you go, boyos. Here you go. Have fun with your gift, sir. Have fun with your gift. He'll pick it up sooner or later. He'll pick it up. <laughs> oh my god, that was actually really fun. That was really fun. Oh my god, that was really, really good. <laughs> I've pissed off the soul of Cinder. Oh, I love doing that shit. I love pissing off the Soul Ascender. It's so much fun. Can't wait to piss off Gwen in Dark Souls Remastered when I do my final stream of that. Yeah, um... No, oh, thank you, Rumble. I knew you were gonna... I knew you were gonna clip that shit. Yeah. Um... But yeah, to the new people that are coming in, I have actually been playing Dark Souls Remastered. I, uh... 
I'm saving the last stream for a couple weeks from now because I'm trying to do some stuff to lead up to my new game plus run of it. So I'm trying to do whatever I can, you know, in regular game um, so I can uh, be ready for new game plus. Like I'm trying to gather up materials for making stuff, upgrading stuff because once new game plus happens, you know, it's, it's going to be crazy. There you go. Moody. Praise the sun. Oh, thank you. Are we ready? You know, the AI is pissed when you're more, f when it's more focused on you instead of the host. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's funny actually. Ha, <laughs> that, that drive-by man. That drive-by. Come on, Gwen. Come on, Gwen. I know you're still in there. What attacking him? You want me. You know you want me. Come on, boy. -o. Come on, boy. -o. Oh, you took the aggro off him. Oh, come on. I want a little bit of fun. Come on, boy. -o. Yes. Attack me, boyo! Boyo, boyo! Let's go! How did Gwen's soul survive? I feel like um, the way Gwen's soul survived, it's, it's a bit of a different story. It's kind of like making a sandwich, all right? This is how I, this is how I predict it, um, Crazy Liz. When you make a sandwich, a sandwich has layers, especially a really big sandwich, okay? So you have the bottom part of the sandwich, you have the meat, the cheese, the condiments, you know, the vegetables if you're into that. You know, and then you have the top piece of the bread. Okay? So Gwen is basically, you know, I'd say the bottom of the bread. Or even better, no, he's like the meat that's on top of that bottom of the bread, okay? Because the bottom of the bread would be the bonfire, okay? I blocked that. That was a good block, but it took a little bit of my health. But, um, okay. So the bonfire would be the bottom part of the bread, all right? And let's say you put the meat on top first, okay? Let's say you put the meat on top first. So Gwen would be that first slice of meat, all right? Then down the road, you know, the more people link the fire, the more stuff got added to that bonfire, okay? So, the reason why Gwen is a second phase is because he's that bottom of that sandwich. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. That's, that's, how, I, that's how I've put it. <laughs> Do you like that? I like giving gifts to people. It's what I do. It's what I do. But uh, maybe that makes some kind of sense. That's actually how I put it into context. Because a lot of people do ask that. Like, how is it that so many people have linked that fire? And yet, Gwen is that phase two. Or what, how did Gwen survive? It's because it's just like that. It's just like a sandwich. The bottom part of the bread is that bonfire. That first thing you put there, you know, it's like, that's Gwen. And the more stuff you put on that sandwich, okay, the more bigger it becomes. But you still have that piece of that sandwich that still tastes like what it was originally going to be. You know, that's how I put it in the context. Now, someone could put it in a different context, you know, but... Does the soul of Cinder say it? 
The Soul of Cinder doesn't talk. The Soul of Cinder is a fighter. He's basically what I would consider a shadow of his former self. The Soul of Cinder is basically the um, the aftermath of the greed of a man that wanted the Age of Fire to continue. Instead of doing what he was supposed to do. Which was extinguish the flame and just let it go. The soul you get when you kill him. Um, when you kill Gwen, you get the soul of Gwen. In, Dar in Dark Souls 1. When you kill the soul of Cinder, you just get what's called the soul of Cinder. Um, but I've actually had somebody ask me that once too. It's like, how is it that, you know, Gwen is phase 2 of... Um, of um, Dark Souls 3, when you get the soul of Gwen, when you, you know, defeat him in Remastered. It's called the linking of the fire. When you link the fire, you become part of that fire, and that fire becomes part of you. So if you link the fire, your strongest attributes, the things you were known for, is put into that little thing. The bonfire and the f and the kill in the first flame to me is like a painting. Not to mistaken, you know, Arian Dell or anything like that, but the the kill in the first flame's bonfire it's like a painting. You add a little bit to that painting each time when you're painting a picture. Okay? So it's like the first paint on the picture was Gwen. Gwen was the first one to link the fire. Okay? So, the more people that linked the fire, the more attributes got added to that fire. The more, just the more things got added to it. Because, see, the Age of Fire was supposed to end. But Gwen gave himself to the fire to continue it to keep going. That's where you kind of wonder about the endings of Dark Souls Remastered. Would you link the fire, or would you let the Age of Fire die and have it start a new era, the Era of Darkness? Because either way, both endings are not good. They're not good. Like, would you rather postpone something, or would you just let it happen? Dark Souls 3 is the aftermath of the greed of man. That is what Dark Souls 3 is. You're dealing with what has happened with the world since Gwen got what he wanted. Gwen was a greedy man. He had lots of friends as well. And he had siblings too. He had, you know, Guinevere. He had Gwendolyn. And sooner or later, we find out he had the Nameless King, which was the God of War. You know. But then, you know, of course, you know, Gwen had to have had bastard children. He had to have had children out there that he didn't consider to be his. That's kind of why, in a way, Gwen is like Zeus. You know, Gwen is basically, to me, the embodiment of what Zeus from the Greek mythology would be. Plus, you know, Gwen does wield a lightning spear, you know. Well, sunlight spear. It's called a sunlight spear. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just very, very interesting if you really just die down and think about it. When you think really hard on it, Dark Souls 3 is sad. It is sad. I will agree. But Dark Souls 1 is even more sad. Aside from the whole situation with Sigmire and if you don't save Solar in time. And Dark Souls Remastered. Um, it's also kind of like when people have asked me in like my private messages on Twitter. People have asked me, do I think that Solar really survived? Because there's two different aspects of... Uh, well, not, not aspects. There's two different outcomes with Solar. You can either take that shortcut to the Lost Isle to kill the Sunlight Maggots so Solaire does survive to help you with Gwyn. Or you don't take out the, sunless mag the Sunlight Maggots and he gets possessed by one of them and you sadly have to put him down. 
which is really, really sad to me. It's very, very sad. Um, but, you know, things happen. Things happen, man. But do I think that Solaire survived? That's a, that's a very, very good question. It's also kind of like how people ask me, what was Solaire before he became undead? Because the aspect of being the chosen one can be argued. Were you the chosen one since the day you were born? Or did you become the chosen one because you escaped the asylum? That has been argued for many, many years. Okay? Ever since 2011, it's been argued. It's still argued to this day. What makes you the chosen one? The chosen one of prophecy. Were you chosen the day you were born? Or were you chosen the day you became an undead and you got out of that asylum? Because if that's the case, it could be argued about who was the chosen one. Was it you? Was it Oscar? Was it Solaire? But even with back to Solaire, what was Solaire before he became an undead? Who was he? People used to think that before Solaire became Solaire, he was the long-lost son of Gwyn. There still could be some evidence to support that. But, you know, ever since the whole thing with uh, the Nameless King, we now know who the third child was. It was the Nameless King. But who was Solaire before he became Solaire? Does, does Solaire truly survive at the end of Dark Souls? I think he did. I think Solaire survived. And he's still out there looking for his son. Now when I mean son, I don't mean like an actual baby son. The son. Hence why he says praise the son. I think he's still out there looking for the son. So he can praise it. In a way, Solaire is like Icarus. From Greek mythology. Icarus was a man that made wings so he can fly and touch the sun. But he flew so close to the sun excuse me, that the wax that he used to make the wings that he used to fly up into the air melted and he died. That was the story of Icarus. And in a way, Solaire is like Icarus. But the question is, did Solaire ever find his son? I can't answer that. He could still be out there. You'll never know. Because From Software will not tell you because they're a big bunch of trolls. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like how, you know, what's really the true ending to Bloodborne? Okay. Is it... You know, taking the mantle of Gearman, being in a wheelchair, and keeping the nightmare alive. Is it giving yourself to Gearman to be killed in the nightmare and waking up in the real world? Or is it taking those three to four umbilical cords, consuming them, fighting the moonlight presence, well, the moon presence, after killing Gearman? And you becoming a great one. An umbilical cord, to say the least. You becoming the next nightmare. We don't know. Let's hope that the new teaser that they did um, will uh, give some darkness to what we're wondering. I'd say give some light, but Bloodborne's a dark game. Why would you want to give light to a situation in terms of Bloodborne? Gotta love my puns. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many unanswered questions about Dark Souls. Even a lot of unanswered questions about Bloodborne. That even I can't answer. There's a lot of speculation. But I can't really answer it. I can't. It's, it's not part of me. I can only theorize. I can only speculate. It's also kind of like, you know... What's, what else boggles my mind about it? Um, 
There's another one. And the Artorias DLC of Dark Souls 1. You run into a character from a different background. You run into a character that reminds you of something that is made by From Software later on in the future. And he goes by the name of the Marvelous Chester. Marvelous Chester, dressed in an interesting way, fights a different way than how you fight. Now, I believe 100% that the Marvelous Chester was a big teaser Easter egg to Bloodborne. Because of not only how he's dressed, but the fact that if you have the right um, research with you, you can make a Marvelous Chester in Bloodborne. It's hard, but you can do it. I know, because I've made one. If uh, the almighty Belphegor was in my chat, he would tell you. I have made a Marvelous Chester, and he looks very similar to how he is in uh, Dark Souls 1, the Artorias DLC. But, question remains. It's not just the whole situation with the Marvelous Chester that boggles my mind. There's also Manus. Manus is the final boss of the Artorias DLC. But Manus doesn't fight like a Dark Souls boss. I noticed that when I not only played this when the Artorias DLC came out, you know, back in the day, but even revisiting it now in Dark Souls Remastered. I was thinking to myself, Manus doesn't fight like a Dark Souls boss. He fights like a Bloodborne boss. And it's very interesting when you think about it. He also kind of fights very similarly to a magical-based cleric beast. Makes you wonder if the cleric beast was based around Manus. You don't know. We'll never know. Why will we never know? Simple. From Software likes to keep their secrets to themselves. It's kind of like how From Software says that Bloodborne and Dark Souls are not connected in any way. And I still think that that's another load of bullshit. Because of how they'll claim one thing, but then it'll, but then when you run into it in the game, it's a completely different situation. It's kind of like how back in the day when we were playing Bloodborne, and uh, we got... Um, what was it? You got the Yarnum Stone from killing the final boss in the um, Dungeons of Bloodborne, okay? It's like, they claimed that it did something in interviews back in the day. They said that the stone does something. But then later on down the road, Miyazaki clearly said, Oh no, we just, we just put that in the game as a, uh, as a trophy for you, a self-trophy. So, that goes to show from software has lied before. But, back to what I was saying. Is Bloodborne and Dark Souls connect? I believe they are. In more ways than one. I have two different theories on Bloodborne and Dark Souls being connected. I'll start with the first theory that I think makes the most sense. I think Bloodborne is a painting. I think Bloodborne is a painting just like the painting of Arian Dale. And the painting of Aramis in Dark Souls 1. I think that Bloodborne is a painting and it's all there. Yeah, you know, true. You know, it's they say it's a nightmare that you're in. But thing is, we're taking this upon perspective from people in the painting. You know? We're we're taking this from a different perspective from people that are already in the painting. Maybe they don't know it's a painting. Maybe they call it a nightmare. Maybe the fact that if they die, you know, that's how they get released from the painting. Maybe. I can't, I can't answer that. But, when you think a little harder on it, when you think a little harder on it, okay, that could be a theory, but there's a second theory. What if Bloodborne happens later on in the future after the age of fire after everything has happened okay but then that also leaves another question what is like for example what was Yarnum then before Bloodborne it couldn't have just been called Yarnum the whole time 
Well, that's where I think of Karim. Karim is a place we've never seen before, but we've heard about it from numerous people. From, uh, like, let's say, Oswald. We hear from Oswald. We hear from Lultric, from Dark Souls 1. Oswald also being from Dark Souls 1. We hear it from the Marvelous Chester. Says he came from Karim. We also hear about Karim from the nun that's in uh, Dark Souls 3. But we've never seen Karim. What is Karim? Well, I think Karim is what Yarnum becomes down the road. Because keep in mind, we're still in the age of fire. Okay? We're still in that age of fire. So, you think really to yourself about it. You're like, okay. Maybe it is connected somehow. I was just checking something real quick. Maybe Karim is Yarnum. It could be. There's also different uh, places in Bloodborne that look very similar to something that you, some places you would find in Dark Souls. And it's mostly like places like, you know, um, for example, the Research Hall and the Hunter's DLC. The research hall, then this is a long shot, could be like a Duke's Archives or Grand Archives from Dark Souls 3. You know, but then you think to yourself, okay, why is there a clock tower? Well, also think about it like this. Is some places where there's like an archive or a giant tower, there are usually clock towers. There's usually bells. Places that are close enough to be like that. And those are usually in like either clock towers or churches, okay? And there's a lot of churches in Bloodborne. So, in conclusion, do I think that Dark Souls and Bloodborne are connected? Yes. Will we ever find out how they're connected? Probably not. But we'll always have someone speculating. You know, we'll always have people speculating. And I'm one of those people. I will always think they're connected. Because I'm a stubborn son of a bitch. Um... It's also kind of like how I think Demon Souls is connected to the Dark Souls universe. Even though they say that Demon Souls is its own universe. Because, okay, for one, I, I even think that Demon Souls is connected to Bloodborne. Yeah, I said it. I think it's connected to Bloodborne. And it's all about that final boss that you deal with in Demon Souls. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but I will say this. Without spoiling what the final boss is in Demon Souls, to the people that have played it, okay, have you ever thought that maybe the boss, that final, final, final boss in Demon Souls, could have been an old version of a great one? Not an Amigalan, but a great one. Because we know what the Amigalans look like in Bloodborne. But we don't really know what a great one looks like. Because, you know, when you look up a great one, you don't really see much of it in terms of a uh, definition. But Amigalans aren't great ones. But they have mystical type powers. So what if the being that you fight in Demon Souls could be a great one? Plus, at the same time, you know for a damn well fact that um, the woman that helps you level up in Demon Souls is a pre-Firekeeper. And all the evidence is there. Not just the leveling up, but Firekeepers are blind. They cannot see. They don't have eyes. The, fire, the person in Demon Souls has no eyes. They're literally sewn on patches on her eyes. She cannot see. It's very, very sad. But she cannot see. And she's pretty. <laughs> but, you know, could be. 
There's just so many theories out there. So many unanswered questions. But I think one of the reasons why From Software trolls us so much and lies so much and produces great games so much is to keep that speculation alive. They can answer our questions as much as they want. But is it really the real answer? Or are they saying it just to keep us quiet? To make us not bring it up again? Only for you to decide. I will probably go on till the 2 hour 15 minute mark. If uh, I don't get something by then, I'm going to end my stream. Um, I usually do a two-hour stream when it comes to the uh, Path of Solaire ones. Sometimes I do three-hour streams, but uh, I'm just feeling a lot of fatigue right now, and I really need to go to sleep. So uh, we'll keep going until the two-hour 15 mark. So, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Whew. Hmm. I saw the lo the fire load in right there on my top right. I might be getting summoned. I don't know. But uh, we had a lot of interesting people in today, huh, Mr. Rumble Roses? We had a lot of interesting people pop in. This has got to be the most interesting stream I've had in a long time. And I also learned some new things. I love it when I learn, learn new things, Rumble. Absolutely insane, man. Absolutely insane. Check my phone, actually, while I'm here. Oh, cool. Okay, that's done. Yeah. Real crazy, man. And you got to experience it with me, Rumble. That's why I like the Dark Souls community, man. Is, yeah, we have those trolly invaders. We have those bullshit invaders. But then... Hidden in the darkness is the people that actually help people. And I like that. That's the type of things that I like. I'm one of those people. I help out so many people. Even off stream I help people out. That's why I'm in different communities on Dark Souls. On uh, PlayStation. I'm in different communities in Dark Souls. If I need help with something, I'll put something in the community. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I do. It's just what I do, man. I just always like helping people out. I'm a noble guy. I'm a noble, noble guy. Sometimes too noble. We'll go ahead and uh, walk to the uh, fire. But if I get summoned by the time I get there, I will... Uh, I will do the fight. But... Uh, I'm really hoping soon I do hit affiliate, though. I have a lot of people that want me to hit affiliate... And I don't want to let them down, you know. Plus, you know, when I get to affiliate, my official new set schedule will hit. So I won't be streaming every day like I have been. Um, I've been mostly trying to do that so Twitch can get the, uh, get the idea that I'm trying to shoot for affiliate. And I'm hoping that it'll work. Because I really need to take a break after all this. Because if you're right, Rumble, I've been streaming nonstop. For 18 days. One stream per day. And I'm getting tired. I'm getting really tired. Because <sighs> I sleep a lot more now. Ever since I started doing all this. It's just. It is, it is hard. It is very very hard. But I do this not just for myself. I do this for the people. I do this for the people that take time out of their days to come and hang out with me and everything. And I love you all. I stream for you guys. I don't just stream for me. I stream for all of you. And it may make me sound like a broken record, but it's the truth. But it is now the 2 hour 15 mark, so... It is time to go back to the Firelink Shrine, and I will show off my stats like I always do at the end of these streams. So people like you could...
could make your own night solaire and go out there and do the jolly cooperation and go help out people that struggle in Dark Souls. Because there are people out there that can't finish the game on their own and we want them to succeed where others have not been able to in the past. Okay. So, it's time to show off my stats here. Night Solaire, for now, is a 227 level. His Viger is at 80, his Attunement is at 33, his Endurance is at 40, Vitality is at 14, Strength is at 42, Dexterity is at 42, Intelligence is at 7, Faith is 45, and Luck is 13. As you can see from the Right Weapon 1 and Right Weapon 2 and Attack Power, the Sunlight Straight Sword does 427, and the Right Weapon 2 does 501. And I know for a fact already in my head, because I have it memorized, if I was to two-hand the Claymore right now, it would be a 527. But, yeah. And I'm also going to show off my load here. I have a Sunlight Straight Sword, plus 5. A Refined Claymore, plus 10. A now Blessed Sunlight Shield, plus 10. A sunlight Talisman plus 10. I have my Iron Helm, my Armor of the Sun, my Iron Bracelets, and my Iron Leggings. My rings I have is my Ring of Steel Protection plus 3, my Claranthi Ring plus 3, Havel's Ring plus 3, and my Estus Ring because your boy loves that plus 20% added to Estus Recovery. But it is time for me to do my intro while you look at Solaire right here. Yeah. So, if you enjoyed what you saw today on Twitch, and you're new to the channel, follow the channel, become a fellow Spadian family member today. Help your boy get to that affiliate status. I'm doing it for the people that watch and take time out of their day to come and hang out with your boy. So, if you enjoyed what you saw today, follow the channel. Check out my collection section of my channel. If there's other things that you want to see that I've done, you can check those out there. If you have a YouTube channel, check me out at Onyx the Gaming Machine and subscribe to the channel. This will also be exported to YouTube as well. So if you want to, you can go to that video, click the like button on that video, leave a nice positive comment down below because your boy enforces that positivity because, because the whole world is filled with negative assholes and we don't want those people here. We want them to just go away so everybody can have smiles on their faces and live the rest of their days in positivity, because that's what I enforce. So, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm your friendly neighborhood game machine, and this was Dark Souls 3, Path of Solaire, Warrior of Sunlight. And until I see everyone in the next video or live stream, peace out and happy gaming, my friends.